one of the first to stand up to him. few times the community comes together for what makes them happiest. Scarfing down cowboy caviar. This town needs a morale boost. And if stuffing Rocky Mountain oysters down your gullet don't put a smile on your face, then I don't know what could. Problem is, the festival's been postponed because of the goddamn cult. Now, I am not going down as the cook who failed to serve up huevos with a side of happiness. We're gonna do this. But first, we need to get the testy festy supplies out of storage. A young fella named Kenny's got them all locked up for me at the old bar. I'll start getting set up. You head over and get those supplies. Thanks a million. Good day. Get down there! Can't thank you enough for getting rid of those fucking cultists. I have no idea how you did what you did. Thanks for doing it. My cousin said the cult was going after Nick Rye. God only knows if they're after his plane or his family. It's just nice to see folks out and about.
how it ends for me. They're gonna kill me. I heard about John taking Hudson. That's not gonna go well for her. She needs help. Take her easy. Our scout said he saw cultists killing everything on four legs over at the cattle farm. The Kellets are decent, hard-working folk. It's our job to protect them. John marked me and then he cleansed me. But I don't feel clean, Deputy. Oh God. Thank you. Stay alive. <laughs> Local law enforcement agencies. Shit, wish I brought a change of undies. These are getting swampy down there. The cult forced Colin Dodd to close down his garbage disposal. The place is just sitting there abandoned. So we stashed some supplies inside of it. If you can find your way in, help yourself.
hear your confession. On the move. Jerome is selfish and misguided, and if he were a true man of God, his people wouldn't have left him in the first place. You 
Deputy, will still confess your sins. Because this is the will of the Father. Taking down a normal moose, ain't easy. Much less a crazy one. Just what we need. A killer moose. We got a fucking nightmare moose on our hands. Eden's Gate did something to it with drugs. Now the damn thing's insane. We tracked it down to the outskirts of the valley. We sent a squad to take it down, but we haven't heard from them since. It needs to be put down before its next rampage. But you need to be ready. The damn thing's a monster. John's been stealing planes from all over the valley. He keeps the best ones at the airstrip next to his ranch. We need those planes on our side. John marks the people he thinks are worthy of joining Eden's Gate. Then he sends his goons out to take you. girl can do it all thanks for that Hudson girl can do it all never slows down just the kind of person John loves to break always me doing the real one I'm changing position I'm heading this way here we go
you need me, call. Anywhere, anytime. No one's gonna fix things for us. We gotta do it ourselves. I can't even start to imagine how many laws that come to me. Making a move. I invite you to go to the man. Stay home. Who's not left behind to be accepted to say.
Heaven's Gate will provide salvation.
Hey, so Laurel's called in and told us their bunker had been compromised. Water damage. They've abandoned it, but told us that if we can get to it, we're welcome to anything we find down there. Hey, bud. Anything exciting going on? Hey, sir. Didn't scratch it too much, did you? I gotta say, Deputy, seeing my dad's truck rumbling home sure brings back memories. I'd stand out here every time he came back, just like this, waving him home. You definitely got the grit to handle her, and more importantly, you got the heart. My dad would have liked you. If you ever need to use the Widowmaker, you don't even gotta ask. In the meantime, I'll keep my ear to the ground. If I hear anything that's worth your while, I'll let you know. Thanks again, deputy. This game's awesome. You can play with your friends. Hey, man. Hi there, miss. How'd you do? Check it out. This game lets you build your own level. Thanks for what you There's a bus wreck not far from here, where some local Come resistance here, like to hang out. Saw them hoarding bottles and grain alcohol. Looks like they were gonna play with fire. I give thanks to the Lord every day for bringing you and I together. I'm glad you're looking to do more here. We need you. As you can see, John Seed's making a lot of people suffer right now, and quite frankly, I can't keep up. These people need me. Don't leave just yet. I got some news for you. <sighs> now, these people need me. They're my responsibility now. But that just means keeping tabs on the resistance has been that much harder. When you get a chance, head out east and check on our people at the Woods and Pig Farm. I haven't heard back from them in a couple of days, and that worries me. We can't afford to lose a single one of our fighters. Drop of our fuel. So before things get dire, 
Hijack a couple of Eden's Gates gas tankers and bring them to Fall's End. It'll slow them down and keep us rolling. I don't do two shows a night anymore. <laughs> Anne said there'd be help soon. Your timing is not a coincidence. N ne never mind this cult nonsense. I it's a pointless distraction. You and I, we have more important things to do. Two words, imminent threat. Uh, uh, two more words, global catastrophe. I, I, I can't say more. They're listening to everything we say. They're listening for, for key words so they can, can zero in and, and, and blow us to smithereens. We can't let them. I, I've got a plan to stop them, and you can help. But we can't make any headway until we destroy their listening devices on the Purple Top Telecom Tower. And, and if we don't do that, then we can't outsmart them, and, and we can't outmaneuver them. And, and damn it, you'll get the idea. Oh, it's showtime.
let's get this show started. Good now, thanks. If you know Grace, you know she does not fuck around. Any gear she's got stored at her place is going to be top of the line. If it survived the fire, that is. Thank you. I'll keep fighting to the bitter end.
bastard. Dutch out. Father, take them to John. He's ready to hear their confession. to teach me about the power of yes. One night, they took me into the kitchen and they threw me on the ground. And I experienced pain after pain after pain after pain. And when I didn't think I could take any more, I did. Broke free inside. I wasn't scared. I was clear. I looked up at them. I started to laugh. All I could say was, yes. I spent my entire life looking for more things to say yes to. I opened every hole in my body and when those were filled I created more but it was Joseph who showed me just how selfish I was being always receiving always taking the best gift isn't the one you get it's the one you give giving Courage to own your sin, to etch it onto your flesh and carry its burden. And when you have endured, when you have truly begun to atone, to cut it out like a cancer and display it for all to see. <sighs> My God, that's courage. <sighs> I'm going to teach you courage. Teach you how to say yes so you can confront your weaknesses, confront your sins. You will swim across an ocean of pain and emerge free. For only then can you truly be into a tunnel. So, who wants to go first? Which one? Hmm? This is lesson number one. Someone's got to choose. Yes. Yes. You're not gonna regret this. I promise. Now before we begin, I think it's only proper that Deputy Hudson goes back to her room. Confessions are meant to be private, after all. I am not here to take your life. I'm here to give it to you. I'm going to 
open you and pour your worst fears inside and as you soak, your sins will reveal themselves. Only then will you truly understand the power of yes. I'll be right back.
every action. Your sin is wrath. So, I'll indulge you. Become wrath. Let it fill your body and consume your soul, because in the end, you'll still be empty. And I'll be waiting right here. We both will. Nothing more you can do here, Deputy. I'll come for you when you're good and ready. Leave this place. Gorge yourself on wrath. Because if you don't, if you stay here, I will bleed your little princess like a stuck pig.
You're gonna make Joseph disown John. John's sloppy. We just gotta keep our heads and he'll crack up completely, right? <laughs>